thermometers. There are many types of thermometer. Any physical properties that changes with temperature can be used as a basis to build a thermometer. The liquid and glass thermometer works on the principle that liquid expands as the temperature rises. Digital thermometer makes use of a thermal resistor or thermistor as a temperature sensor. A thermocouple thermometer consists of two wires of different materials, such as copper and iron, joined together to form two junctions. If the junctions are at different temperature, a voltage is produced causing a small current to flow along the wires. A rotary thermometer makes use of the expansion of a bimetallic strip to measure temperature. The most commonly used thermometer is the liquid and glass thermometer. The liquid and glass thermometer works on the principle that liquid expands as the temperature rises. The sensitivity of a liquid and glass thermometer can be increased by having a thin wall bulb. Thermometer with a thin wall is more sensitive to a thermometer with thicker wall. Thermometer with narrower capillary tube is more sensitive than a thermometer with larger diameter of capillary tube. Thermometer with a smaller bulb is more sensitive than thermometer with a larger bulb. The clinical thermometer is a special type of thermometer commonly used by doctors and nurses to measure body temperature. The scale only extends over a few degrees on either side of the normal body temperature of 37 degrees Celsius. The tube of clinical thermometer has a constriction just beyond the bulb. When the thermometer is placed under the tongue, the mercury expands forcing its way past the constriction. When the thermometer removed from the mouth, the mercury in the bulb cools and contracts, breaking the mercury thread at the constriction. The mercury beyond the constriction stays in the tube and show the body temperature. Thank you for taking time to watch this.